All right, so once you have taken the computer outside and you take off both panels, front and back panels, so that way when you're blowing the dust out, it doesn't get trapped behind this panel, so you want both panels out. But anyway, you can see how dirty it is. It is extremely dirty, and that's because of use. So, okay, so we got the computer outside. We've taken off both panels, front and back, like I've said. Okay, the next thing that you're going to need is a toothbrush. Now, the reason for the toothbrush is because when you go to blow this, a lot of that won't come off. So what you wanna do is you wanna knock it loose first. So we're gonna try to, oh my God, look at it. Even the fins, the heat sink is just, it's crammed. And this is an ESD brush. You want to use plastic now. That's why I say if you don't have an ESD brush, you can use a, um, oh God, you can use a toothbrush because it has plastic bristles on it. But you wanna try to knock as much as loose as possible. Oof, I'm gonna get it on my camera. Even the RAM sticks have dust on it. This is actually a customer's computer that I'm working on right here. Um, this is their secondary business computer. It's their backup, but they say that it just kind of sits there idling all day and whatever, so. Oh God, look at the power supply. Yeah, you want to try to get as much as that. Same with this fan over here. Try to get inside that. Around the rim. Look at the dust coming out the back of it. Okay, and over here. I'll try to get inside of those PCI Expresses and try to remove get the motherboard the best you can especially around these these power modules right here Hang on, I'm sorry especially around these power modules right here those are very important you can see them there's one there and there and there those those are very important so you definitely want to try to but you don't want to be rough because you don't want to accidentally knock one of these capacitors loose or anything so you just kind of want to be gentle with it but you want to try to get as much of that dust knocked loose as possible so a leaf blower is what you want to use to blow out your computer and there's two reasons behind it one it doesn't have any moisture in it and i'll get to that in a second why and then two it will put out an unlimited supply of air and power unlike a can of compressed air but you do not want to use an air compressor no air compressors and I'll tell you why air compressors like this one right here with an air hose okay and then you pop that fitting off and then you can put this fitting on and this is a blow valve fitting it allows me to you know blow air the problem with this is that there is moisture inside of these lines and if I use an air compressor an air compressor to try to blow out the computer there's a good chance that I will be blowing moisture on the components and that is not what you want because even though the computer is unplugged there are still uh, a charge in those capacitors there's still electricity in that board because also there's a battery right there too. So you could be sitting there spraying it and that moisture from that air compressor could get on that and short it out and you not even know it. So you want to use a leaf blower. It solves every issue you have. I've been doing this for years and a leaf blower is the way to go. No moisture, constant supply of air, So 
I just finished blowing it out and it already looks way better. Nice and clean looking. And then if you want to, you could take like a, a towel and put some rubbing alcohol on it. And then you could rub this nice and get it all clean because there still is a fine layer of dust on the components and stuff. So you could, you could do that if you wanted to take it a step further. Okay, so after we've gotten the computer cleaned off because I don't like working on a dirty computer, the next thing that we need to do is pull the hard drive out. Now, if the damn thing wasn't password locked, then I wouldn't have to pull the hard drive out of it. I, Cause I could reformat it, you know, just where it is. I wouldn't have to take it out to reformat it, but it's password locked. So we need to get around that password. Luckily for me, they do not care about, hold on, let me disconnect that. They do not care about the information that is on it. So, I, all right, what do we got here? It's a 500 gig Barracuda. Okay, so we're just gonna take that and set that to the side. And then we're gonna hook this up to the 32-bit monster. All right, so we got it hooked up to uh, the computer. Over here where it says find a setting and you wanna type in format okay and then right here it's going to say create a format hard disk partition um, duh, 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 duh. yeah that's what we want to do okay and then this screen then this screen right here will pop up alright and then you're going to find make sure you don't delete your hard drive okay you want to make sure you're deleting the correct hard drive so we're going to local disk D Alright, let me pull this up over here. Okay, so we go to local disk D, and then we go up here to actions, and then go to all task, go down, and then go to format. This is going to say this. You're going to go yep. And then you can type in whatever you want there if you want to rename the hard drive, but I just leave it alone, and then it's going to come up. Okay, so. Right now it says that it's formatting, so we're just going to wait until it formats and finish what it's doing. Okay, so you can see right here, it's it has 465 available, and then there was 331 gigs used, which was about 71% of the total space. So now since we formatted it, which is what it's doing right now, it's formatting it it'll wipe all that for us and then what we should see is this right here will be completely blank here in a minute so there's that one okay so yes we reformatted it correctly because it says right there <clears throat> there's 465 gigs available and there's 465 gigs free alright so we are good to go okay alright so Brought the computer back in, we got it hooked up, have the monitor in front of us, and we're going to go ahead and power it on. And then once it powers on, you're going to get this screen. Okay, that's what you're going to get. So, control, delete is what you need to do. Okay, so this is the screen that's going to pop up. No, it says an operating system wasn't found. Try disconnecting any drives that don't contain an operating system. But well, really, the only thing that you need to do is you need to get into the BIOS. But you got to hit Control or Delete to restart the computer. And then when it restarts, you're going to want to tap Delete or F2 or whatever your code is in the BIOS. Now what you want to do is find advanced mode, enter, yep, alright and then we're going to go to boot, after boot we need to find the, let's see here, 
keep going. There we go. Alright, so we need to go down here to boot option one. And then we need to find the one, my USB stick, which is this one right here that has the Windows 10 preloaded on it. And that's what we want to come up first. Alright, so we're going to try that. We may get an error that comes up, and if that error comes up, then I'll show you what to do then. That's a good sign. Okay. And I got me my product key. Alright. Here we go. So you just hit enter. Oh, I'm sorry. Here we go. You just hit next. Yes, I want to install. Okay, and it says setup is starting. Alright, once you get to this page, just hit I accept the license term. Hit next. You want to go to custom. Up goes into Windows setup. It should look like this. And then you want to hit next. And then it's going to go ahead and get the files ready for installation. This right here could take, you know, 10 to 15 minutes to do it depending on if you have an SSD or if you have a regular mechanical hard drive. After we finish installing Windows, I needed to go back into here and change a setting because you don't want it to boot. <clears throat> you don't want it to boot from your USB drive anymore. Now you want it. Okay, so we had to go back into our BIOS because we have to change a setting. We don't want it to boot anymore from our Windows 10. Now we want it to boot from now you want it to boot from the hard drive. So we're going to change it from the Windows 10 USB to the hard drive. Alright, and that's what we just did right there. So now we want to exit, save, Yes, and then while it's doing that, we're going to pull our, whoops, we're going to pull our Windows master key out, and then if it, if we did it right, which looks like we did, it should boot for the home screen to come on and you're good. Then you can just do your updates and your drivers and that's it. Show you real quick how to finish setting up your computer. You just want to pick where you're from. Yep, I skip that just a moment. Let's connect you to a network. We can skip that for now. Um, they can change it at a later date because this isn't my computer. So once you've got your password up, you can it gets to Cortania and I always say no because I don't want that in there and then I usually keep my location and then the diagnostics and stuff um, I turn that to basics I turn that ads to off speed recognition off experience off and then go to accept and then it should load me up into the desktop so anyway thank you guys I appreciate y'all thanks for watching um, but I hope that this video was helpful I showed you how to properly clean out a computer I showed you how to format and wipe a hard drive and then now I am showing you how to put a heart an operating system on your computer real simple so I hope this was helpful thank you for watching as always, you guys be cool and hit the like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.